about <clears throat> on Hunter Johnson and his stepdad. But it's there's a lot that goes on prior to this, and it's a really good read. It really is. It's I mean it's really actually kind of it's very good. I'm quite shocked actually. Not shocked I guess. Just it's just it's just really good. It's wholesome. I mean it's let's you know anyway. So I guess this must be this is Hunter right here. You can tell it's him. So it says, uh, Hunter Johnson, Idaho, uh, year 22, started coming to pie camp when his mom started dating his now stepdad, Adam Hendricks, Eastern Washington, 04. Like the other guys, the early attraction to the camp was the all-out fun and games the kids had while at the camp. As he aged, she began to see the connection with his life and friendships with stepdad, his, his life and friendships his stepdad had with the college fraternity brothers, and he got closer to college decisions. He realized a college with Pi, Data, Pi Delta Theta was, would, would, was an important, would, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, it was an important consideration. Uh, when, when he was admitted to the University of Idaho and he learned there was a Pi Delta Theta chapter, he pursued membership. By this time, some of his camp friends were also permitting, committing to Pi Delta Back at Eastern Washington, the he and Riley Eagleston are the same age and are entering college at different places, but some but with some of the same intentions. Hunter was offered a bid, and he has made it his Pi Life mission to help Idaho Alpha form their very own Pi Camp, modeled exactly like the one he grew up attending. Hunter talked about it during recruitment. He talked about Pi Camp during new member period, and he continues to beat the drum of starting that camp upon his graduation. He is paving the way for Idaho Alpha alumni to have their own, their very own camp, and he hopes one day to be looking back, seeing his buddies and their families grow up, just like the guys back in Washington have. My stepdad came to my in in initiation and participated in the weekend's activity, activities. It was a special moment, and the fact that we that we share the bond is even better. I knew it was worth pursuing, but now that I'm living the Pi Delta, the Pi Delta, oh excuse me, life in Idaho, I am confident that this is all that this is all only the very beginning. Legacy Hunter Johnson, Idaho, twenty year twenty two, stepson to Adam Hendricks, oh four. So. There's, so it must be him talking about up here where he's, because they're talking about this this uh, legacy Riley Eagleson was his friend, and um, and so that's so what's going around now and, and it was going around a while back I remember that going going around, but when you like since the Idaho Four, you can't oh you haven't been to bed yet you cannot Google. Anything that doesn't just come up. I mean, if you put in Idaho in in the search, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get the Idaho four period. So so you have to really get savvy on how you're you know wording things. So it took me a little while to find this one because because yeah, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to figure this one out because you know you put in Adam, the first thing that comes up is Adam Lauda. But now they're saying, well, what if you know what if it was this Adam? What if it was Hunter Johnson's dad? Because Hunter was always you know at the house, maybe his dad. You know, does um, nefarious stuff. I do not know. All I know is I just heard it tonight. Earlier tonight. Well, actually, early this morning. And um, I've been, like, cleaning. I, I'm telling you, like, I just, ha I just had a... Um, my coughing stuff came back really bad, so I had to go in and get more medicine. And the prednisone, oh, my gosh, that stuff. It keeps me up. It's so crazy. The first time I ever had it. Not, no, it wasn't the first time. It was the first time I got back here. Um, the first time I ever had it, I was in Montana. But oh, the first time back here, when I when I took it, I was at the doctor, and I, so I didn't get I didn't get it in my system until um, like it was like five o'clock at night or something like that. And I didn't know that it was supposed to wire you. I had no idea it's supposed to make you know, you know, people are saying oh later after the fact oh that's supposed to make you feel like wonder woman or something i'm like i'm like uh yeah i mean i seriously was up for three days and i did not feel tired i felt fine i mean i didn't i mean it was weird 
It was weird. I got so much done. This time's not so much. I'm really actually really tired right now. Oh, really, really tired. <laughs> I'm about to take a couple hours of sleep because I'm going to go watch a friend, uh, take care of a friend there for a few hours at noon. So, but um, yeah, anyway, so this, this, this camp that they go to. So, so the family, all, let me go back to the beginning. I'm just going to show you it. I'm going to, I'll link it into the description. So this is what it's called, Brotherly Bonds and, tra and Family Traditions. And it's really cute how they write it. Because they talk about all the guys in the frat, you know, their fraternity brothers and all that kind of stuff. And um, how they had like their camping trips. They do just the guys and all that stuff. And then later on, all of a sudden the girls start tagging along. Just these girls, you know. Then these girls became girlfriends and then they became wives. But anyway, it's, it's cute. It's really written quite cute. Um, but I'm just too tired to read it right now. But I did find that one. Oh, I wonder what his dad does. Maybe, because I, I looked through here and I didn't see anything. That's The first hunter was when I saw it down there and I just didn't. Um, but, so he was he's actually from Washington. So, um, uh, well, that's right. He, but I don't think he's from Boy. It was said he was going to go back to school in Boise. That's where it was shown going back in college after all this stuff happened. Showed him and both Emily literally registered at Boise State. Um, they weren't. I mean, Emily was back here. You could tell in some of the body cams, like what JLR did. Holy crap, she was drunk one night. But, I mean, still living in that same house that she lived in. It was right next door to the Idaho 4. How could anybody do that? I don't understand that. There's no way I'd ever step back in that neighborhood again. No way. Uh-uh. Oh, you guys, tonight, or well, earlier this morning, I guess, I was um, just popping up a, just a clip of um, uh, Linda Lane because of what I found out, like, last night. I mean, I realized that, holy crap, there's a car parked in front of the, the two vehicles in Linda Lane, in Linda Lane, like, between, like, I think it's like, it was like two, between two and, like, 3.30 somewhere in there, but it was, it was like a literally, maybe even over an hour but that's the one you hear all the time with the door slamming and you think it's something like in the behind you. Well, it's not. It's in front of those cars. So it's echoing back and making those loud noises. And so how I caught it was Chaos Theory did, was doing this thing, breaking down this thing that was going across the street and they wanted to know what it was. Well, I'd seen that thing moons ago, you know, it's, I, you know, and I, I kind of actually broke it down at first to like a little mouse because then the cat showed up. You know, and so I was thinking, oh, maybe, you know, the cat and the mouse is chasing stuff, whatever. And then, and then I, and then I realized after seeing it a couple more times that it was, uh, when I realized that they were, they had scrubbed stuff out of them. So then I realized it was a shadow, but the way it shows up, it just all of a sudden just, it comes out of nowhere and it disappears, right? Well, so as soon as I saw that on there, on the chaos theory, I went over to my, you know, difference mode that I keep telling you guys about. And, um, I don't know if you guys are reading this while I'm talking, so I'm going to scroll a little for you in case you are. <laughs> Aren't I nice? <laughs> I'm letting my fingers do the walking. <laughs> um, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, so I went to difference mode and I put it on that timestamp and, oh God, you can see that you, you can see everything. Literally. You can see them, the walking. I mean, it's like bright, it's lit up. It's not like the dull shadowy shit on the other one. This is bright. This is lit up. Because what happens on this one, you guys, I keep telling you, it's, you guys got to go watch it, is that it's, they take a regular screen, your regular screen, then they take a motion screen. And then over top of the regular screen, they put over what's called a difference mode. And it darkens the screen. Well, once the motion screen go, lays underneath the di difference mode, the dark screen, it picks up all motion in light form. So anything that's moving, you're going to see it in a light form. And so when someone's walking... You see the steps. You see the shape of the foot and the shoe, literally. It is really cool. And sometimes you actually see, like the car, I could see the headlights. I could see how the headlights, the, how they were molded. I could see the, the, you know, the shape of them. Um, there's people. There's people in those cars underneath the carport, you guys. That's where the whispers are coming from. People are in those cars. There's a girl inside the one, the car car, and I think she's a blonde. Because I saw, I actually saw her tonight. I have my, um, <laughs> I have my jeweler's, uh, my um, jeweler's scope. You know, like, um, what can I think of the name of it now? It's a jeweler's 
whatever, you know, you look at jewelry through. Um, uh, anyway, so I had that out because I had been doing some, making some jewelry and stuff. So I, I popped it on there when, when I saw that shot, that what was in the car, you know? And I was like, holy crap, that looks like a girl, a blonde girl with a ponytail, like a bun in her hair. Like the kind of bun they were running, uh, you know, across the street in um, the four runners or five, whatever. You, wanna, you know, everybody counts them different. Yeah, get that. Sitting in that car. And so, and then there's like, there's someone else standing behind the pole right there. And you can, and every once in a while you'll see their head poke around and you can see their eyeballs because it catches the light. It catches that motion. You know, they're moving their eyeballs. So, and in the car, the girl's moving around. She's like, it almost looks like she's on the phone and stuff too. But anyway, tonight between, um, what time? It was like at three. Honey, it's just me, kiddo. The kitty cat just jumped. Um, uh, 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 uh. 347.57, I think is when it was, on that video that I just posted. You can hear a girl say, it's the detective. I swear to God, I, I went back and forth with it like five, six, seven times. It's the detective. And then at four o'clock, when the video stops, because I only did it for like 15 minutes. Guess what you hear? Honk, 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 honk. Sound familiar, you guys? It's the detective. Could it possibly be pain? Or what other or what whoever was a detective prior to that that is possibly connected to the church? I swear this has gotta be with the church. Some reason why there's just something something just eating at me right now. I don't know what it is about that. But um but anyway, this Adam Hendricks is a, a step. To, I'm going back, switching back to that because I need to get to bed. Um, the Adam Hendricks is um, obviously Hunter Johnson's stepdad, um, and it, it literally this this was going around. I mean, I don't know how many months ago? I remembered it after I went and looked at it, and I was thinking, oh wait, I've already heard this, and I think it was debunked. I don't know if it was what do you want to call it debunked, but I think I, I just you, there just wasn't anything to see, you know, but. Now that you see the body cams, see, that was before the body cams of Hunter and how weird he was. And also that he allegedly graduated May of 22 and he was still hanging around the university, you know, helping out with hazings and shit or what. I mean, you know, ransack, you know, taking over people's houses and his girlfriend was still there. I don't, I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. I, I mean, I have to find that out, but that's what it's being said. So anyway, oh, I got to link the. That's right, I got to link this story. I got to make sure I save. Oh, I'm here. I'm gonna make sure I save this baby. Um, do the. Uh, oh shoot! What was that one? I didn't even know what that one was. Holy crap! Oh, long shot. Oh, I learned something new. <laughs> oh wow! I thought you only do that with screenshots. That's cool. Okay, now how do I get back? That. Oh, that's wild. Where did I do that at? Oh, right there. Okay. Wow. That's new. Like, so my phone has done something. It's 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 done something. I don't know. It didn't have a new. It didn't have an update. It wasn't. I mean, I just had an update and did all that stuff. You know, systems update. But it. But things were changed on my phone, and I, and since that whole thing happened, where it wouldn't. You know, screenshot. Now it'll do screenshots. Um, but man, I had to go. Oh my God. I, had, I It took me forever to go through this phone. And there were some things that were just interesting on there that I didn't, that there's no way I, there's no way I changed them because I mean, I, she don't have time to go in and do that, you know, or even know how to do it, to tell you the truth. But they just looked weird. So I Googled them and they were weird. So I don't know what happened there. But it's working okay now. But um, every once in a while it does a little. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I don't want. To, don't get me started on this one because I always talk forever on it. So, okay. So I'm going to put this in. Um, I make a little video here, put it on, and the link will be in the description if you guys want to read it because it is really a cute read actually. So, and I haven't read any further down. So, and than what I read you guys. So maybe you'll find something in there. I don't know. 
you know, they're, they're just, they talk about their kids and all that kind of stuff, and they got a ton of kids, all these people together. So, cute boys. Um, yeah, so this, oh, so that's Riley. So that's the one kid that Hunter's really um, tight with. Yeah, they start their kids out at these camps, these pie camps. I mean, they literally get them ready for frats, you guys. That's freaky. I mean, maybe some of them aren't bad. I don't know. Maybe Moscow's just really, really sus. Yeah. So, so Riley Eggleston is a member of the Washington Epsilon. His father is founder Keith Epsilon. Ep, Eggle. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm tired. Bond number six, Eastern Washington, ninety six. I don't know what the. I don't know this well enough to know these things. But at first, I was thinking this is too young to be Johnson Hunter, and I'm like, no. When you look at him right there, that's totally him. So this, I wonder if that's his dad, his stepdad. Not Muddy. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, who knows? But it's out there. It's out there in the world now. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Let me know if there's anything you want me to check out. I mean, I'm getting... Uh, I've got, like I said, I've got some some caregiving stuff to do today. Um, so I will be busy. Because, uh, yeah, you don't turn... Yeah, it's you're busy there. <laughs> you don't really stop. <laughs> but well, look at all this stuff. This might be really interesting. Look at all this stuff, you guys. The archives. Now, this might be something here. Alumni relations. Brotherhoods. Campus administrators, communication, public, um, there's all sorts of bloggers, um, staff bloggers, um, hazing prevention, um, infraternalism, infraternalism, it's kind of a mouthful, um, recruitment, road to greatness, student bloggers, that might be an interesting one, let's check that out real quick. Uh, I'm going to have to go through this because I bet you there's some good stuff in here. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. I have to go all the way back down again. Not going to let me back out. Oh, there we go. Um, uncategorized. Ooh. That's weird looking. <laughs> oh, national suicide. Jeez. Prevention. Wow. Well, here's the thing. At least they're touching. At least they're talking about this, you guys. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe Hunter is more well-rounded than we think. Maybe Hunter is actually at those houses for another reason. You never know. That's the thing about these things. You know, you get really wrapped up. I mean, I do it myself too. You know, with this new stuff coming out, and you're like, oh my god, you think you know? And it's weird because it's not like I'm on. A, I want to solve the case. It's not like that, or I want to be first in anything. It's just I want to know what I want. It, I want justice. And so it's almost like I'm feeling sometimes. Like even late, lately, I'm just like, you know, just on it. Just literally, if I hear something, I'm just on it. I'm just thinking to myself, okay, you got to learn how to take a break for one. But it's like, it's not like, it's not like I want, like I said, like I don't be first or uh, any of this stuff. But it's, it's there's some, there's some drive somewhere. And I, and I don't, and it's, it's got to be that, just the justice thing, you know, because... Because, my God, who wouldn't want justice for those guys? God dang. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. Oh, well, I'm in bed. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> That's why I probably sound weird. My, my chin is like, I'm like, my, my neck is like all kinked up in the pillow. And I'm not moving because my cat is laying there. She just finally just stretched out and went to sleep. <laughs> She's been, she, she, she has in different times where she does, like, she'll sleep. You know, like in between my legs on the blankets or she'll sleep. That's pretty much the only place she'll sleep like right, you know, in the bed if it's with me. Or she, she just goes through these phases where she'll sleep by herself and somewhere and I don't even know where she's at. And next thing you know, she's here and she only wants to be by me. So it's kind of weird. But this is her, this is her, her little trimester or semester for this. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a great Saturday. Saturday, right? 
Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Whew. Okay. Night, night.